Well, this next story may make your skin crawl. The city of Hamilton says complaints about rats have nearly doubled since last year, and no area in the city is less affected than the next. Kelly Patello joins us live with more. Kelly. Phil, all it takes is a hole or an opening the size of this quarter for a rat to get inside of your house. And once they're there, they're going to make themselves right at home. Every 21 days, they're going to have a new batch of rat babies. And experts say for every one rat you see, there's 15 to 20 more hiding. They will nestle their babies in attic insulation, ruin a backyard, leave their droppings everywhere and chew through electrical wires. Rats are a nightmare. Last year at this time, there were 76 reported rat complaints made to the city. This year, in the same time frame, there have been 143. This video was taken by Bill Dowd, owner of Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control in Hamilton, who says business is booming thanks to rats. We've seen about a 25% increase in our, our rat calls, so we're probably getting anywhere from 15 to 20 rat calls a day. Since 2014, the city says rat complaints have been on the rise, but 2017 is already on track to be the worst year by far. We're on track to be at about 450 complaints for the year, which is almost double what we'd had last year. The city and pest control companies agree the entire city is affected. Whether you're in a new subdivision in Ancaster or Dundas or a 120-year-old home in downtown Hamilton, the entire city is terrible for rats. Dowd says exterminating rats will decrease the population, but he says it's not a long-term solution. They will find their way back into your house. The problem with the... Uh, exterminating them is you're never going to get them all. And if you're leaving the entry points open, you've only solved that problem temporarily. Dowd says the key is to make your house rat proof. In this video, you can see mice easily getting into a weep opening in the brick. It's a highway for rats. Rats can also climb up a house and squeeze their way between where the soffit meets the wall. The city says they believe all the rain we've gotten this year is to blame. Rats live in the ground, so it may be forcing some of them to move and, and find somewhere else. The city says those who call to complain about rats are being sent information on how to get rid of them and prevent them from coming back. The city is advising people to keep garbage in trash cans that have a lid and don't keep things like bird seeds or pet food in your backyard. And if you do see a rat, deal with it immediately because it'll only get worse. Back to you.